Morning, 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 everybody. It's like oh, right before 5 a.m. heading to do Mount Nancy today, which is on the uh, winter New England 100 highest. Um, it's technically listed as a bushwhack. It pretty much has a trail to it. But we got a major snowstorm last night, and uh, it's, I don't know if it was broken before this snowstorm, so we're definitely gonna be breaking trail all day again. I believe it's a little under 10 miles out and back, um, so it's not high mileage. I did this hike, oh geez, two years ago. We did Kerrigan, Vosper, and Nancy as an overnight backpack trip. Um, I didn't fully enjoy the Nancy part on the hike out, because you go through the Cascades and stuff. We were just so exhausted. It was it was it was an exhausting two days, um, but anyways. So we're heading out to do it for winter, and uh, we're gonna be on trail way before light up. So I figured I'd just do my little video now in the car. Tracy's behind me, probably wondering why my lights on and I'm swerving, but um, it is what it is, right? <laughs> so we'll hit the trail. Um, hopefully. We'll get some views. It looks kind of clear out there right now. Um, I see some over undercast, but um, I'm thinking that we're gonna get some views because Nancy does have views. Uh, as far as I know, that somebody stole the sign, so there's no sign at the summit anymore. We're gonna go check that out. Uh, I had said I'd put one back up there, and this I kind of forgot about it until we got to North Conway last night. So no sign going up or uh, canister like I had said I was gonna do. Maybe next time, come back in the summer and do it up. So anyways, Let's get to the trailhead and get on the trail. Here we are. A little shoveling, I guess, on the trailhead. Trail was broken before the storm, so at least where the wind's blowing, you can see the trail. I haven't seen the sign yet. Oh, it's buried. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nancy Cascades 2.4, Nancy Pond 3.5, and Kerrigan Notch Trail 7.1. I think we're going to Nancy Pond. Is where we turn off. I don't think it's the camera's doing justice, but there's some really pinkish skies over there. Sun coming up. Would have been an interesting sunrise if we caught it somewhere. As this was an interesting water crossing. Came down, went over here, sank there, came around the rock, and up. Thank God for the yellow blaze, because I thought we were supposed to follow the river there. So I saw this on the other side of the river. So that's how I knew how to come over here. So I thought this was someone's bear line that they got hung up on the tree and just left. But it's actually metal. I'm thinking that maybe it was connected to that tree and the tree grew because <laughs> it is in that tree. I don't know what this was for. I don't know the history of this area so So we're entering the Nancy Brook Research Natural Area and it has camping restrictions. No camping or fires on 200 feet of Nancy Pond Trail within the wilderness area. No fires allowed within the research area, which is that maroon color. So until you pass Nancy Pond to get towards Norcross Pond, which is where our bushwhack will be. Here we are, about two miles, actually exactly two miles in according to my GPS, about at 1.9 or so, came across this sign, 
Oh, actually, I'll forget to put it in there. But this sign, you'll see, and uh, you actually take a hard, it points up, but you really take a, like almost like a 90 degree turn and start start going up in a series of switchbacks to the last point one. Done a quite a bit of elevation um, since I saw that sign, so. But nice switchbacks. You don't see switchbacks very often in the white, so it's always kind of a joy to see it. I feel like you're cheating though. You should just go straight up the mountain, or straight up this, in this particular case, we're climbing up to the, I'm gonna call it a plateau, but I know that's not the term for this region, but like a plateau, and that's where we'll come across Nancy Pond, and then we'll continue up. It's not that far, we'll hit near, Neo Cross Pond and Narrow Cross Pond or something like that. And right across from that pond is where the bushwhack starts. So um, this trail is kind of broken. We're not really, we didn't get that much snow last night. I'm really surprised. I think we got more in town than out here. Uh, probably, I'd say two to three inches maybe. Um, so we can still see the old trail and um, been following it. It's been breaking really easy. Uh, it's because this this gets a lot of traffic, I guess. But I suspect that only people went to the ponds, and we'll probably really be breaking trail when we start going up Nancy. So I'm not sure Nancy's a popular peak in the winter because it's on the New England 100 highest, not the New Hampshire 48. Um, so we'll see when we get there. But it's been nice. It's been nice. Uh, been nice sailing to the, to that point that we don't we have to really stop breaking trail. Jeez, that was hard to spit out. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get going. Can anybody identify this mushroom? It almost looks like wood itself. the Nancy Cascades and the snow is definitely getting deeper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can't get traction. <laughs> Jeez. First views for the day. Basically heading up onto a ridge. It's been pretty steep since we hit the that one sign, hit the cascades and got steeper. So this part right here was a mound of snow and I, shel I shelved it as best I could but it kept collapsing on me. Whoa. Kept collapsing as you can see that was snow out to like that tree and that's all slid down and I got a little bit of a shelf here but if you get towards the end you too go it collapses in on you so hopefully it'll still be here when we get back and of course we're still going up get you on video if my shelf job fails I'll get you on video if my shelf job fails. <laughs> no, we're supposed to save the butt slide for the end. <laughs> I'm just trying to like stay on course but get the view too. That's <laughs> oh, pretty up. Ah, pretty out there. One foot in front of the other, because that end is very <laughs> loose still. There you go. 
leaving more scary monsters for to reach out and grab Tracy on her way by. This guy's got a big mouth. Look at that size of that sucker. His eyes are just staring, waiting for her to come by and grab her. She probably doesn't even notice though when she goes by. <laughs> Maybe I should stand behind and go grrrr. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm starting to lose my mind, if you're wondering. This Nancy it got a whole new respect for me. I remember this. I thought this was easy. <laughs> but last time I did Nancy, we did uh, Kerrigan. Came down uh, Desolation, camped, walked back, cut back to Vosper, did Vosper, and then came over and did Nancy and then headed out. So I was pretty exhausted when I got here, but it was all down on the way out. And it was still tiring so I should have should have remembered correctly but I didn't I thought it was like pretty pretty much a flat walk all the way into the ponds not even the ponds yet we're at three a little over three miles I can't remember I thought the sign said 2.9 so if it said 2.9 it's definitely wrong because we got probably another quarter mile at least maybe a half a mile to the to Nancy pond and uh then we got to go maybe quarter mile to Neo oh now I forgot what the name of that is Neo whatever the heck it is, pond, and then the bushwhack starts there, and I thought it was a mile up Nancy. I don't, I don't know if my uh, math came out right on that one, because uh, I tried doing off the bushwhack track. I'm not sure if it came out right, but I thought it was a mile. But anyways, here we go. So here we have some of the fun stuff in winter. Try to duke the hazard across, or drop down in. I don't think I can't make that, jump that. Jeez, and this is probably all snow. As soon as I go to stand on it, it's probably going to collapse. I'm going to end up in this river. Hopefully it's frozen, because I know I'm going down fast. And it's a straight drop. <laughs> so, here we go. Wish me luck. So, I was right. Straight down. Took one step. All ice. And wham! Through the, through the ice into the water my uh boots and snowshoes weigh about 400 pounds each because all that water and slush stuck everything to it i had to clean those off wait for tracy to get here so she doesn't end up going in i don't have a solution to that one either because it doesn't look maybe she you can sneak behind there i'm not sure it held me over here though I'm not right at the bottom where you slide. Huh. Fun, fun. I called that one, though. got landmines going on. Look at that. I couldn't get my foot out. Holy crap. <laughs> it's so heavy. I fell in that right there. It just collapsed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh shit, and I'm sinking again. Okay, putting the camera down. Near Cross Pond. Got Mount Anderson right there. right over there that's where the outlet is we will start climbing Mount Nancy there she is it is cool So we started going the wrong way and then Tracy mentioned that she saw our trail over here and then I remembered that it was 
closer to the trail than there was the no camping sign. Actually, the no camping sign's right over, right there. So, here's, the, here's where all the magic's gonna start. I think it's about a mile up. We'll find out, though. Here we are, making our way up Nancy, up the bushwhack. I love using the quotes, bushwhack. Um, it's as steep as I remember, but we're doing it. Getting uh, Mount Anderson about using that as a scale. We're about halfway up Mount Anderson if we were on Mount Anderson anyways. So anyways, let's keep moving. Put the hard shell on so I can just bulldoze through the trees. It's uh, pretty thick in here. So here we go. Here we are at the top of what I'm going to call the Nancy Slide. We didn't come up this way. Someday I might. But the bushwhack kind of goes along it and around. So here we go. Look at that. Sometimes you just need a saw. Can't even do illegal trail maintenance on this trail. <laughs> Whoops. So right up here, it's Kerrigan. The fire tower right at the top, I can almost see. And that signal ridge right there. And then, I always forget which one Vos Spur is. I think it's that hump right there. There's three of them right there, right in a row. And I, I think it's one of those two over here. So, view of Kerrigan you don't see very often. Here we go. Sign was always on one of these trees right here. I think it was that one. I don't remember. Here we go, Summit of Mount Nancy. Beautiful. So we've been butt sliding down um, Nancy. You just gotta be careful at the beginning. There was a bunch of like uh, stumps just sticking out in the middle of the trail, but I marked them on the way up so we knew where not to butt sled. Basically you went around the corner and you would have went wham right into one of those stumps. So she should be coming down any second. So let's get her, I, ca I can't record myself going. It's a, I can't hold the camera and my poles and gloves. Oop, here she comes, I see snow coming down. <laughs> so one of the best things about breaking trail when you're doing out and back anyways is returning on that broken trail it's like smooth sailing with this trail because uh you did a good job breaking it oh other than one of the few mud holes or quite a few actually that i fell in and jammed up my snowshoe as actually had freezing my feet were freezing and these tubs Underneath here, got all the ice built up. And uh, it was like pushing down on my boot. So my feet were freezing because of it. I had to take them off and dig it all, all that ice out. So but anyways, we, uh, we've already passed the ponds and we're gonna start going down towards the Cascade here shortly. And I just wanted to wrap this video up because you're not gonna see anything you haven't seen already on the way out. Except for me going very fast because the trail is broken. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And please comment, especially if you know what the mushroom was that I asked about. Um, or I think it was a couple other questions I had asked in this video. But anyways, please feel free to comment. Feel free to reach out to me on my personal Facebook. That's uh, the link will be down in the description. Um, and subscribe if you're new. I love new subscribers. So, I'll see you guys out on the trail.